All right, guys, so I just wanted to take you through and show you some of the uh, attic sill photos that I like to, to hunt out when I'm in the, in the attic. So pretty straightforward on most of these. So that's obviously a wire penetration, another wire penetration there, a couple of them. Um, you can also see here where the seam is. That should be sealed up properly as well. Um, can light, this is a different type of can light, but it needs to be sealed right around here. And then this needs a whole cone to go around it. And there's obviously no insulation around here for, for two reasons. One, somebody just pushed the insulation away. They didn't know any better. But really, you're not supposed to bury these things in insulation because of a fire hazard. So you would seal it up and then you would cone over the top of it. And I'll show you a picture of what it looks like when you properly cone something. This is a, an exhaust fan. This needs to be sealed all the way around this. So that's a great picture to indicate that there's a, an an attic leak, okay? Another wire penetration, can light, there's a properly coned can light, okay? It gets coned up, insulation gets built around it, there's just a little space up here at the top where the, the heat can escape out of there, but it doesn't really allow for a lot of heat to get sucked in to the home through there, okay? We've minimized the amount of air loss. There's a can light that's not been properly sealed, that's a fire hazard, it's a dirty mess, that is not proper, so I take a picture of that. Here's obviously a, a spot where somebody's had some sheetrock issues, but it's still a hole into the attic, so that needs to be addressed and repaired, so I take a picture of it and put it in there. There's an up duct. They've taken some black tape that you can see to try and seal that off, but it doesn't do a good job of actually sealing it off or reducing the kind of heat that's getting into the home. That's what it looks like from inside of the attic. You see that little thin piece of waffle cone looking plastic that can actually pop up and down that's why they've uh, they've sealed it from inside of the house thinking that that's going to stop it but that's what it looks like with my flash off there's a lot of you can see how thin that plastic is but the reality is, is that needs to be properly foamed up or mastic one way or the other so that it's properly air sealed and then it needs to be filled with insulation so that it's a non-issue here's a can light perfect example of where it needs to be sealed around the floor joist right here and then the next picture is going to show you how much of that is coming in look at that I turn my flash off the lights on you see how much room there is for heat to penetrate through that into the home dirty air can go into the home so when that's properly coned and sealed and everything that becomes a non-issue or it really minimizes the issue anyway here's a an exhaust fan in the bathroom and you see how much access to the attic there is right there. That needs to be properly sealed. We seal that from the attic. There's a wire or a plumbing penetration. Here's a couple more wire penetrations. Wire penetrations. There's a plumbing penetration. See the gap here? Heat travels, guys. Convective heat moves. It does. Insulation doesn't stop it. You see the discolored insulation right here? That's indicative of airflow. Air is moving. Okay? This is a void, so this is a chase that drops all the way down to the foundation, right where that plumbing goes down in. Well, that's what's dropping down in there with it, okay? There's another one. This is a pipe. This is an older home, obviously. Here's a, a soffit that's been covered by bats. They laid the bats across it to try and pretend like it's not there or something. I don't know, but it's terrible. Like It's just a cave underneath there where this is all heat. There's a chase here you know, voids that drop down to the foundation. This is the inside of the home. That's a, a roof of some, some room somewhere. There's a knee wall. Here's a seam that hasn't been sealed either. This all needs to be addressed. So these bats should all just come out and this needs to be capped with a uh, foam board and then sealed up and then insulation buried it, you know, buried in insulation. There's another spot where that insulation is not doing anything. Look at that. Here's another side of that, that same attic. I mean, it doesn't matter how many bats you pile over the top of it. The issue's still there. You're just burying it. Look at that. Big old soffits. Terrible. So you want to be able to get a good picture of that. There's another can light just showing you that it hasn't been sealed with the, the floor jack. Uh, I think I actually have another picture in here. Let me just go into my other photos here really quick. And I think I've got another picture of a chase that I could show you. There's an attic, attic sill issue. There's an attic sill issue. Yeah, 
Okay, right there, there's a chase. See how that just drops right down into the down the foundation? A lot of those older homes really have a lot of that stuff. Anyway, that's our job is to find these things, be able to point it out, get good pictures, and then make some good notes, proper recommendations, guys.